Hey guys, uh, Rick Baker here coming to you from Caltagirone on the island of Sicily in Italy. Um, got a new house vlog for you. I hope you, uh, hope you enjoy the, the video Jen did. I, I narrated it. Uh, the house has had lots of improvements, so it's really coming together, really starting to look like a home. I uh, hope you enjoy that. I, 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 several of you have asked uh, why I'm not in the Philippines. So I, I did allude to this several vlogs ago that I would be taking a one month trip to Italy uh, for a very specific purpose. I wanted to give you just a little bit more information about uh, what I'm doing. Um, I had an opportunity to be a part of a team that uh, came to Sicily to uh, locate uh, hopefully a, a downed World War II pilot um, that was shot down by the Nazis during the invasion of Sicily in World War II. Um, Operation Husky, I believe was the name of it. I'm reading a book actually about this pilot. It's uh, called The Jagged Edge of Duty. Uh, very interesting, but I had a great opportunity to be a part of this team. The, the, the group that's doing this uh, archeological excavation is the American Veterans Archeological Recovery Group. Um, I, well, I can't, I can't say enough about the folks that I'm here with. Uh, we're all ages, all, <laughs> um, you know, we're just, most of us are veterans, some of them are civilians, uh, but we're, we're working really hard to locate um, this pilot and his aircraft. Uh, so I just wanted to, I can't go into a lot of detail, but I wanted to just encourage any veterans that watch my vlog, if this is something that interests you, if you'd like to be a part of um, a future archeological expedition to potentially recover a fallen comrade, I, I encourage you to look up AVAR, American Veteran Archeological Recovery. Uh, they've got a website, um, they, they, they work with volunteers and, and they love uh, having veterans and, and disabled veterans. If you've got disabilities, uh, they, they, they work with you. They, they want you to come and be a part of that and uh, they wanna be a part of your recovery as well. So if it's something that, that interests you, I'm gonna ask Jen to put uh, the link uh, on the YouTube, I guess down below, wherever. <laughs> wherever down below is um, in this uh, YouTube video. And uh, I encourage you to, to go check it out. If something that interests you, message me, email me. I'll uh, share a little bit more specifics about uh, the, uh, the event and how, how I've done on this event. I, I am a disabled veteran and um, hey, I'm hanging in there, so. <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to say hi to all of our viewers. I hope you enjoy the vlog. Um, if, if AVAR is something you would like to uh, check into, I encourage you to do that. And again, message me if you have any questions. Um, Y'all have a great week. Talk to you soon. Hey guys, uh, Jen went up to Cuyapo on Saturday and uh, took some updated video on the house. As you can see, the outside's um, almost entirely primered. They um, are still working on perimeter walls. You're going to see the west side perimeter wall. She's going to walk around the side and then towards the back of the house. But uh, I noticed uh, some of you had commented on, uh, you could see when she was up close to the house in the last vlog that there were some surface cracks in the outside walls. Um, that's normal uh, when they do the rendering on that concrete and they go back in and they sand and fill in and sand and then they primer and once they get done there are no imperfections on those walls anymore uh, it really turns out quite beautifully back of the house uh, you can see what's been done on the catch basin for the pool and a good wide angle of the back um, and you can see that they're they're still working on the outside walls as far as that's that final skim coat and then uh, primering before the paint goes on it's the back of the pump house right there 
Get a good idea how high up the house sits on the property though. It's a good shot of that. This is the east side, perimeter wall still being built. I don't believe it's quite up to its level. Looks like it's uh, still a little low up in the front, but they actually may be bringing that soil down. I'm not totally sure. You can see where they've outlined the driveway that's gonna be going in. That's Looks like that's all they've done is put down uh, an, a hollow block border. Still lots to do to pour that, uh, that driveway to the road. Uh, she's coming up to the carport. Beautiful day, by the way, in Kugipo. What a what a gorgeous sky. You can see nothing nothing uh, extra has been done here in the carport area except for the hollow block perimeter wall has has gotten us a, a uh, coat of concrete on the outside. This is technically the front of the house, the front door, even though it <laughs> faces the side. So you're going to come over here in front of the kitchen windows and then look down the corridor that runs from the carport to the pool deck. That corridor will house our dirty kitchen on the left-hand side, and on the right is our pump room. And now she's going to come around here to the front door. Beautiful video. Thank you, honey. You did a great job. You can see the walls. If you'll pay attention to the walls, you can see where the sand marks are, where they're sanding and doing that final skim coat and uh, filling any of those surface cracks in. And they've already begun to primer inside as well. The ceiling in here is being taped embedded still. You can see part of it's been done, part of it hasn't. A shot of the kitchen. Not a lot done here except for primering in the walls. Um, you can see where they've left some of the primer off. That's actually where a, a porcelain uh, tile backsplash will be going. So a lot of things done since the last vlog. Another shot inside the kitchen. My guess is, since I'm not there, but I'm guessing that porcelain tile will go on the countertops on the island once the uh, painting is getting close to being done. That's a shot out over the pool deck. Uh, nothing new really there that I can see. Guys outside painting or uh, primering the walls, preparing the outside, rest of the outside walls. Just going back into the living dining kitchen area good overview that right there that opening is our little half bath and then we're going to go down the main hall here again you can see all the sanding strokes on the walls another shot out of the pool not real sure when they're going to get back on the pool tiling but I, I did did hear from my engineer they're going to be installing water pump pressure tank pool pump and pool filter here pretty soon She's gonna walk back over here on the west side of the property. You'll see there's a little bit more fill dirt has to be put in on that uh, left side of the pool right there. And there is, um, she's gonna turn around onto the uh, septic tank and show you the framing on that. They've got it all framed out, rebar in. And here in a second, you'll see the, you know, right here, Gentlemen bringing concrete in, and they're starting to pour the, the lid on that septic tank. That canopy right there in the back still needs uh, polycarbonate on it. Framing's done, however, and it has to be painted. And you can see good, this is a good shot inside the master bedroom where they, you can see they've already Done the final skim coat and sanded uh, in preparation for some primer. Gonna go into the master bedroom closet and then on into the CR. You can see that uh, most of the tile work in the CR is, is finished. Still some painting to do up top. Good size CR. 
for those of you that are not Filipinos, CR means comfort room. In the United States, we would call that a restroom or a bathroom. Same thing. I've just been in the Philippines long enough. I call it a CR now. You can see the ceilings in this part of the house, the hall, the, the bedroom, these spare bedrooms, the master bedroom, they're all done. They look like they've been taped, bedded, and painted. And you can see where they're still doing primering inside. This young man has sanding the walls in one of the spare bedrooms. Jen's gonna come around and show you this room from all different angles. So the, the majority of the work being done right now is, is wall, wall preparation, final preparation, uh, and primering. And I'm sure once all that's done, then the paint, paint will go on the walls. And how, how different is it gonna look then? It's gonna be pretty cool. There's a shared bathroom or CR. Doesn't look like much change from the last vlog on that. The other spare bedroom, again, being prepared for primer. And I think she's gonna swing around here and head back down to the the common area yeah so heading back into the dining kitchen living area boy it's really starting to look like a house <laughs> so cool to see The good, the bad, the Philippines.